In this video tutorial, we will be walking through how to publish, unpublish, and delete shifts on the calendar. If you're looking for more of a general overview of the calendar pages, including all the different views and functions that you can do on it, I would recommend watching our support video titled How to Manage Your Calendar. That's going to walk through everything more in depth. In this video, we're going to focus on the Publish Delete Shifts tab, which is right here. And we are here on the calendar, and you'll see that we have two positions loaded. And keep in mind on this calendar page, whatever you leave here, the settings here as, so if I have both these positions loaded, if I leave, log out, come back in, these two positions will already be loaded here on the calendar for me, as well as any of my preferences over what I need checked here. Do I need profile pictures? Do I need availability? Uh, whatever I have saved here, whatever I have checked will be checked when I come back the next time I come back to the calendar. So you don't have to recheck everything off or reload your positions. You'll see here on the screen, I have a bunch of different shifts and these are all published. So they all have the uh, the solid bar here. Everything is solid. There's no stripes through, which would mean unpublished. And um, and you'll see this is all here in the calendar, uh, which also has my position name as well as the shift name that are listed here. Now, if I wanted to unpublish some of these shifts, I would actually, there's a couple ways I can do this. I can unpublish an individual shift by hovering over it and choosing the checkbox and this is going to make the shift unpublished. It's now a change. It has the lines through it, which means unpublished and only managers can see this in their manager accounts. Employees will not be able to see this. However, if I want to unpublish a, uh, if I want to unpublish a uh, multiple shifts at the same time, we'll go to the publish delete shifts tab here and we can select our shift action. So I'll choose unpublish shifts and then we can choose our positions. Now you can uh, choose any positions that you have listed in this white bar here. So if you have all of your positions loaded in the white bar here, you can actually unpublish or publish all of your positions at once. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose all positions here. And then your option here, you can choose unpublish all shifts. This will unpublish every single shift on the calendar in these positions into the future. Anything that's from today into the future, or we can choose a specific date range, which is what I'm gonna do here. I just wanna unpublish, let's say from the 7th to the 8th. We're gonna publish for two days and you can also choose to only unpublish available shifts or from specific employees. But I'll just go ahead and say all employees. We're gonna unpublish these specific shifts. And these have now all been unpublished. You'll see they all have the lines through them as we go down. Now, if I wanted to publish those, again, another option is you could hover over it and you can choose the checkbox here. That's gonna automatically publish this shift. Um, however, if you want to do uh, publish in mass, you can go to publish delete shifts again choose your shift action, which is publish, choose your positions. Again, I'll do all of them. Uh, and in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and publish all my shifts. So this is gonna publish every shift I have on the calendar and these positions from today into the future. We'll publish those. And these have now been published and you'll see they are now solid as opposed to having lines through them. The last function you can do here is delete shifts. So again, if you were looking to delete shifts one by one, you can go ahead and hover over the shift you wanna delete, hit the red X button and then when you, uh, you have to make a decision if you want to notify the employee. So do you want to tell the employee that they will be deleting, that you'll be deleting the shift? If you do this, they'll receive notification, whether it's push notifications or email, whatever option they have selected for their notification preferences. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit delete here. And that shift is now deleted. If I go up to the top left, I need to delete a massive amount of shifts at once. I can choose publish delete. And we're going to change our shift action here to delete shifts. And then for position, we're just going to choose one. We're just going to choose our front desk position. And you'll have to choose a date range here. The system won't let you just automatically delete everything into the future. You will need to choose a specific date range that you want to delete. Um, this all looks good here as far as the days that I want to delete. I'm going to go with these two days. And we can delete, uh, again, just for a specific employee or available shifts only. But I'll go ahead and go all employees so all my shifts will be deleted. And uh, I can choose. Do I want to uh, delete only published shifts or only unpublished shifts? Uh, let's say you had some unpublished shifts in the calendar that you didn't know if you would need to use and need to schedule people for, but you wanted them saved there just in case. If you need to do that and just delete your unpublished ones, you can do that. However, I'll leave both done here and hit delete. And this has now deleted all the shifts for those two days. Now, if you mistakenly delete a shift, so if you uh, go through this, uh, this process and you end up that you didn't need to delete those, you need to get them back. We actually have a tool for that. It's called, under, it's under apps, it's called recover data uh, right here, recover data. And if you need to do this and use this function, I recommend watching that support video. Uh, it's just titled how to recover data. 
Um, and that would help you out walking through how to get those shifts back. That is how to publish, unpublish, and delete shifts. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to our support team. You can email us, support at subitup.com, or call us at 617-401-8733. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks so much. Thank you.